In the fall of 1977, Marg headed off to Kearney State College to major in theater. To pay for school, Marg's dad helped her get a summer job at the meatpacking plant where he worked. She actually, I think, boned out beef, and that means cutting out blood clots and, and uh, fat, and it was, a, it was very difficult work. I had this stupid job where I just had to take these ribs and shove them off into an inedible tub. That's what it was called, an inedible tub. And I was daydreaming. This big side of beef was, like, was lifted off the track, and it like knocked me in, into the inedible tub. My heart had went shooting down the floor, and I'm like ugh, trying to get out of the inedible tub. And that foreman checked the side of beef first before he checked me. Mark soon looked for other ways to make ends meet besides meat. When she heard that a local TV station needed a weekend weather girl, Marg decided to try out. I know I was stunk. I know I just sucked big time. But at the end of it, I like, went like that to the, right into the lens. And um, they loved it. They loved it. That's what got me the job. Unfortunately, no tapes have been found of Marg's days as a weather girl. I bet she hopes those tapes never surface again because being a weather girl probably wasn't <clears throat> one thing that she was going to uh, really succeed at but I'm sure if Marg would have worked at it long enough uh, she would have done great. If being a weather girl wasn't Marg's ticket into the big time it was another tip that got her thinking about leaving Nebraska. Marg's then boyfriend had applied to the pre-med program at Northwestern University in Evanston. He said, I will um, get you an application for the School of Speech because uh, you might want to, you know, give it a try. And so, yeah, I, I filled out the application and then I had to go for an interview and, and praise the Lord, I got in. Marg's old friends and teachers in North Bend were astonished by the news and proud. To go to Northwestern from Kearney, coming from a small town in North Bend, Nebraska, students didn't do that. They went to the University of Nebraska or they went to Kearney. They didn't go away to school to Northwestern, so that was even a big step. Mark quickly established herself as one of the leading actresses at Northwestern. Her performance as Blanche Dubois in a production of A Streetcar Named Desire even convinced her mother that Mark could make it in the big time. I was invited to a cast party afterwards, and... Uh, the director's wife came up to me and said, did you always know she was going to be an actress? And I said, heavens no. I thought she was always going to be a nurse. But while she was at Northwestern, Marg's world fell apart when she least expected it. Doctors had discovered a lump in one of her mother's breasts. I told her that I was going in for a biopsy, but I said, it's nothing to worry about. I'll probably be home in a day or two. Then I got off the plane in Omaha. My dad and my sister were there to meet me, and they told me that they had to, in fact, um, take her breast and had to have, you know, she had underwent a mastectomy, and it just really hit me hard. The doctors then discovered the cancer had spread, requiring another mastectomy. It was a tough summer for the whole family. Not long after, there was more bad news. Marg's father was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. He was diagnosed with progressive MS, which is much more fast-moving. So, you know, he was like 45. He ended up, you know, walking with a cane and, and um, led quickly led to a wheelchair. And, and I think then after the wheelchair, it was really a downward spiral. The best thing Marg could do for her parents was stay in school. Northwestern had a reputation as a training ground of such future Hollywood stars as Patricia Neal, Tony Randall and Anne Margaret. Talent scouts from the studios and the networks often visited hoping lightning would strike again. Sure enough, a talent scout from ABC saw Marg as Kate in a production of The Taming of the Shrew. And before long, the girl from North Bend, Nebraska, population 1200, would soon be seen by millions from coast to coast.